Hi everyone, welcome to today's virtual career day. My name is Armand Carter and today I'll be presenting to you cybersecurity engineering. I am currently as of today a cybersecurity engineer for American Airlines. All right, so without wasting too much time, let's briefly talk about the agenda. Um, the first thing we'll be discussing is kind of my background, kind of where I got started um, and just in getting interested in engineering in general and kind of going down this track to the, which kind of got me into cybersecurity engineering. Um, next, I'll kind of be talking about uh, cybersecurity and just giving you guys kind of a brief background on what that is, um, some key terms, some key roles. Then we'll kind of break down a little bit into what cybersecurity is all about. Um, and then last but not least, we'll really kind of double down on kind of my role um, with American Airlines today. Okay, a uh, brief introduction about me. I am from Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, I went to Jackson State University in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, currently today, I have my bachelor's and master's degree in computer engineering. Um, while attending the university, I also play football, uh, which is something that I'm very proud of uh, being a student athlete. Um, so yeah, just a little bit more of my background. Um, before I went to Jackson State, um, when I was kind of around maybe some of the ages of the people that will be looking at this video. Um, yeah, I, I just was very, very big into building things up and breaking, thing da breaking things down. Um, I love computers. I love technology. I love playing games online. Um, and yeah, it just kind of got me down this rabbit hole of saying, hey, you know what? I think when I grow up, I want to be an engineer. And uh, yeah, seeing I've completed that goal. Um, so yeah, just a little bit more about me. Um, I kind of, you know, I'm a big sports fan, obviously, as I as I play sports, right? Um, you know, I, I do have me a German Shepherd, and we love to play all the time. Um, I also am a big reader, um, just in general, kind of an exercise fanatic. But yeah, um, you know, not that much, man. I'm not that special. Uh, I just in, enjoy what I do. I enjoy cybersecurity and technology, and ripping and running around. All right, without further ado, let's kind of discuss uh, cybersecurity. So in general, um, there's a lot of people that kind of get these two confused, um, information security and cybersecurity. Um, these are technically not the same thing, right? Although they, they are very close in some aspects, right? Information security is the focus of protecting, well, not just protecting, but pretty much protecting the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the data that is either digital and our physical of a particular entity, right? Um, the best way to look at this is the, I can protect the data that's inside a, um, inside a safe, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be inside a computer. I need to make sure that no one else gets those codes, make sure someone doesn't get the data that probably shouldn't be looking at this particular data or this piece of paper, make sure no one can't erase anything that um, that's part of that paper, right? Any of the notes or documents or serious documents that's um, in that particular vault, right? Make sure no one burns it, just deletes it, right? It needs to be there, it needs, it needs to be available, it needs to be only for the eyes that it's supposed to be for, and um, on top of that, it needs to make sure that nothing's changed to rearrange it unless authorized to be rearranged. Cybersecurity um, defers when it, because it kind of focuses on protecting um, the technologies um, as well as the data. So um, when you talk um, cybersecurity, you're talking about ensuring that the, the system itself isn't compromised, um, and then going that step farther and ensuring that the data um, is also not compromised. So something hasn't happened to it, hasn't been changed. Um, the people that's on the system and are that's looking at the data are the people that's authorized to be looking at this particular data. Um, the system isn't compromised, is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, and it's available for the people who need to use it, right? Um, so yeah, this, this is kind of the background of like, yes, you know, um, that's where this meme comes in, a, comes into play kind of discussing, you know, th th really, the only way that your computer can't be hacked is, you know, hey, just don't use a computer, right? Um, so yeah, let's kind of move forward. So talking about key terms. So, you know, as we kind of get down into this presentation, kind of around what I do, um, you, you hear some of these words kind of come out, right? Uh, particularly one of my favorite being cyber warfare. 
um, obviously the internet is everyone's favorite um, financial theft confidential information fraud chat rooms white collar crimes and, and in general um, again when you're talking cybersecurity you're talking about essentially protecting the system um, protecting the people that use the system um, protecting the data that sits on these systems um, so you're, you're kind of doing this triage of ensuring that all these things are um, protected it's, it's, um, and then in general you can catch bad guys when it happens right um, if they do do any of these things you want that record of hey someone did steal your password they logged in from here someone did um, say pretty hurtful things and we have the we have what they said right here we can point to where they said it at during at a particular time um, all these things are really what you're trying to kind of focus on when you're working in cybersecurity is protecting and if something was to happen um, detect it catch it and then do something from there so yeah let's just keep moving on okay so let's just discuss real quick some of the roles and responsibilities here um, for a cybersecurity engineer, right? So at the entry level, you have cybersecurity engineers, cybersecurity consultants, cybersecurity specialists, and and really um, these guys are basically there. You can be these are guys that kind of rolled into cybersecurity, right? So you can be a very good um, computer scientist or computer engineer. Um, you understand system administration. Um, you understand how to lock down a system and you can kind of find yourself kind of doing that cybersecurity role um, and kind of get pulled into the ranks with the with the entire cybersecurity community right um, same for consulting and a specialist kind of digs into you you have a particular skill set that's just pretty much used exclusively in cybersecurity right um, and we'll talk about that when we go to the mid level and, and that's a great transition into the mid level because at the very bottom you see uh, pen testing, cybersecurity analysts, right, and IT auditors, and, and these three guys are essentially specialists. Um, and they, 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 the pen tester really specializes into validating if systems are up to par, right, um, so that they can't be hacked, um, and, and writing those types of reports. And an analyst um, is the person that kind of handles if a system has been hacked. Um, and then auditor is ensuring that everything that we state that uh, must be done is done and that we're in compliance um, with our policy and standards that we set. And again, when you go to the cybersecurity engineers, it's just a more experienced engineer, right? Um, as, and last but not least, focusing on the cybersecurity architects, these guys are really the guys that um, they kind of design the system out, right? They design everything about a particular control and kind of collaborate with the engineers to build it out. Um, and last but not least, focusing on that senior level, um, you, you're, you're really focusing on the people that have the vision, right? They deal with the big picture. Um, they deal with effectively, they're that buffer between you and executive leadership. Um, Right, the CEO, CIO, these are the guys just kind of working with them to understand the requirements, understand what's the new thing that we need to protect, and then getting everybody else um, ready to rock and roll, effectively the coach, um, if you would say. So, okay, it's just a brief look into the roles and responsibilities. You obviously can go and dig into this more when you find time. Um, so yeah, let's continue on with talking cybersecurity, right? So what you see here, the NIST cybersecurity framework is a framework that's very popular uh, in the industry. Um, NIST uh, stands for the National Institute of Science and Technology. Um, it's sponsored by the, the government. It's basically, hey, here's the methodology at which you can build a cybersecurity program effectively anywhere. Um, and if your cybersecurity program doesn't meet this right, um, then you need to get it there, right? You 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 want your program to be just as good as the federal government's program to an extent, right? Um, so that you can just protect your systems. Um, so just kind of looking at the three pillars, right? Identify, protect, detect, um, respond, and recover. Um, it's essentially just what you want to do. Identify if there's a problem. Um, if there's a problem happening, protect against the problem if you can. If your protection isn't good enough, you at least want to detect that a problem did occur, right? And um, if you can detect it, then effectively do something about it, right? So you want to respond to that problem. Um, and then, 
you know, after the response is done, you want to take some time, breathe, and kind of come up with that plan to ensure that that particular problem never comes back up again, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's simple methodology, something that everyone likes to follow, and, and it's great to do. Um, so let's just keep moving forward. So, yeah, now let's kind of talk about me, right? What exactly do I do, right? I'm kind of speaking in general about cybersecurity. Um, let's focus on what I do. Okay, so yeah, um, essentially I'm just a cybersecurity engineer for the Security Operations Center. Um, the name of my team is Cyber Incidents and Response Engineering. Um, we, we really focus on building out controls that the analyst, um, that you, the cybersecurity analyst that you heard me mention earlier, kind of leverage to detect uh, threat actors, right, or bad guys. Um, as well as uh, build out preventative measures um, to ensure that, you know, if um, something is detected that we can kind of very quickly respond to that, right? Um, either blocking it, denying it, um, or identifying it, and then blocking it or deleting it. Um, so yeah, um, it's short and sweet. Um, you know, our job is to effectively ensure that we can detect something and then if so do something about it um another way to kind of look at this uh is i know you guys uh, you know as previously shown in the earlier slides um we kind of focus on the three pillars of detection protection and, and responding um in this case detect protect and respond right um really on the engineering side of the house our focus is on detection ensuring that we can detect when things happen um and if we get good at it, right, then effectively because we can detect it, we can um, proactively protect against it. Um, our, and our, if we respond to something, we can protect against it later. So really our job is all about building out this, um, this detection mechanisms, our detection controls, and allowing our other team members to effectively um, protect and respond in our particular environment, right? Okay, um, and that's really just, you know, kind of what I do, right? So, you know, again, kind of going back into this whole, um, this ecosystem around why cybersecurity is important. Um, so here's here's some, you know, some cool things of why, you know, one um, is, is one of the more secure jobs out there in the world. You'll always have something that you need to protect. Um, and I'm sure as all you guys know, um, you've probably had somebody that's been fished, phone been hacked, a celebrity you like whose um, Twitter account got hacked, right? Um, and all these various things. And, you know, you could just kind of take a look at the slide and see, you know, it's a very important uh, position. Um, and you, and it's also really, really cool. The better you get at security, the better you get at information technology. Um, and that is something I just flat out guarantee, right? Um, so, you know, just moving forward, let's let's talk about that. So, if you ever find yourself wanting to get into cybersecurity as you guys get older and as you kind of figure out your career, um, in general, just research, man. Read about computers. Read about cyber warfare. Um, it's all interesting stuff. You can read into past elections, um, manipulation. Uh, of elections, espionage, right, spying, um, I mean, all the cool things you see, um, hacking, um, I mean, it's a lot harder than what it looks like in the movies, but the more that you know, the better chance you have of getting into this field, um, and I really hope to see you in this field one day, um, it's really, really cool, guys, I promise you. Yeah, with that, guys, um, you know, we're kind of at the end here, but again, it was, it was awesome talking to you, uh, at least kind of giving you a brief background on what I do um, and what my passion is. And hopefully this is something that you guys can look into joining. Um, and I hope to see you guys down the road in this field. And um, yeah, it's been great. Uh, thank you for everything. Thank you for allowing me to present to you about what I do. All right, catch you guys later.